Trayvon Merrick. This guy might be the best pure coverage safety that we've seen in college football over the past 10 years. Merrick has 7 interceptions and 21 pass breakups in his 3 years at TCU. His fluidity, football awareness, and mental in-game processing is phenomenal. I want to just jump right into the film and break this first round safety down. For those of you guys that don't know, Merrick was actually a corner in high school and he was converted from corner to safety when he got to TCU. In his first season, he played in all 12 games. In those 12 games, he was basically a rotational safety, but he did even start in two games. Now keep in mind, he was a true freshman at that time. When I put on the tape, it is clear. Merrick can play multiple positions. He can be a single high post safety. You can line him up around the line of scrimmage and you can even put him in the slot. He can pretty much do it all. He's a talented ball hawking football player. He's gotten his hands on the ball a total of 28 times in basically two full seasons. His change of direction is second to none. His fluidity, his quick feet, everything about this TCU defender says he will be an all pro at the next level. With that, let's just jump into his film and get into some specific situations and let's just start off with basically his football awareness because I think this is part of his game that is going to be super special. Alrighty guys, let's just jump right into this man. Trayvon Merrick is a special player and I could not be more excited to break this guy down for you guys. Um, I, I want to actually just start and talk a little bit about his play recognition and kind of take you inside the mind of Merrick, right? Uh, because he does certain things that you think to yourself, wow, this guy is super smart. Uh, he understands the game of football at a level that other people might not. Uh, now, this just looks like a, a simple tackle, right? Loss of yards, as you guys are going to see the play. Uh, but I really want to get into this, right? Because there's a part of this that some people might not necessarily think about, right? Uh, first and foremost, understand if you just watch Merrick, right? You see that he's running at this guy that's possibly going to catch the ball right uh, but from the all 22 it, it's clear that there's a guy right that is obviously running across the field here it's clear for us but you guys got to understand right uh, when when you're out there and you have a helmet on your vision's limited right because all you really have is just that small gap between, on your face mask um, and then there's players in the way right so like this guy leaking out this way it's not as clear to Merrick who's on the field as it is for us uh, so you guys might ask right why is it that Merrick's already stepping up right and i really want to show you guys something that i saw in this play and this just goes to the football awareness right america's gonna make his read based off of this wide receiver now if you guys just keep an eye on this wide receiver for a second here uh, notice how the wide receiver sets up to block this slot defender right he's setting his body up to basically to block this defender this way right and i'm gonna show you guys why that's important right as you guys see, he's basically trying to hook this defender. Now, Merrick sees that, right? Switching back to uh, keeping your eye on Merrick here. Uh, notice how he's going to see the slot uh, receiver basically blocking down. Merrick's going to start coming up. And keep in mind, he can't necessarily see this guy at the moment. But he's already stepping up. He's already going to fill this gap because he sees that, you know, if, if the play was going to the inside, this receiver would actually get to the inside of this slot defender but he doesn't right that guy actually gets to, is trying to get around and block the the receiver this way right um Merrick's gonna just start stepping up and it's clear that they're going to possibly throw this this pass right here um, and as soon as he sees the guy coming across as soon as it's clear to him he just goes out and boom you lose five yards just like that um, you can't run these concepts with Merrick and, and another defender, right? That slot corner there. Uh, because when Merrick reads the corner, when Merrick uh, reads the, the receiver and the way he's going to block, he reads the offensive line. When Merrick makes these reads, he's going to make these plays. Let's get into the next one. You know, the game of football is, is very specific, right? Um, a lot of the time you're playing chess out there, right? The great ones at least do, right? I remember stories of, of Peyton Manning talking about how him and Ray Lewis would go back and forth. Uh, Peyton would make some sort of call and Ray Lewis would know what's going on and then Ray Lewis would make a call and Peyton Ma Manning would know what's going on um, and they play chess back and forth, right? Uh, well, Trayvon Merrick plays chess and I don't know if these quarterbacks necessarily do, but here's a play. Uh, this is a run pass option um, and understand that the quarterback's 
option is going to be the safety, right? That is Merrick. The quarterback is going to, depending on what Merrick does here, if Merrick steps backwards, the quarterback's going to hand it off. If Merrick steps forward, the quarterback's going to keep the ball and throw it to this re receiver coming across the field. Um, I want you guys to watch Merrick, right? Because from the time that the ball is snapped, right? The ball just got snapped. Watch what Merrick does, right? The ball snapped and Merrick is stepping up. He is stepping up. He is stepping up. And the quarterback's looking right at Merrick. Merrick's going to even pretend like he's going forward. The quarterback's going to keep the ball, right? At this point, the quarterback's already made the decision that he's going to keep the ball. And Merrick is basically at that point going to a step backwards and try to pick this ball off. I mean, as a quarterback, you have a very small window to complete this pass. And Merrick's standing between you and your receiver. Uh, and of course, this is going to be an inaccurate throw. Um, and because of the fact that Merrick's standing there, man, that's a great play right there. And it's a little bit more clear if you guys watch it from the end zone angle, right? Uh, Merrick does a great job. You guys see him up here on the top, right? Look as he steps up, fakes, the, fakes like he's going to come in and basically steps back. Again, this is a run pass option. You look at all those offensive linemen, those linemen are run blocking. Those linemen are trying to um, open a hole up for the running back. And here Merrick is stepping up, messing up the quarterback's read, uh, and then just standing right there waiting for the interception. Now, Merrick has seven interceptions. Um, but as you guys know, you know, as a safety or a corner, you're not going to pick every single ball off. But uh, the football awareness is second to none. And I'm very, very excited to watch this guy, you know, because... Um, I'll be the first to tell you guys, when I initially watched him, I watched the Louisiana Tech film uh, about a month back. I wasn't that high on him, you know, and I w went back and started watching some more tape, uh, 2019, a couple games in 2018, and, and definitely the 2020 tape, and he looks very, very intelligent as a football player. And I'll show you guys a couple more plays of his football awareness, and then we'll get into his coverage. All right, guys, jumping into this next play, this is a, another play from the Baylor tape. Uh, this is week five of the 2020 uh, college football season. Um, here's another run pass option, and Baylor loves to do these run pass options. Uh, keep your eyes on Merrick and watch what he's going to do, right? Again, run pass option, Merrick is the read. Um, the quarterback's going to keep the ball, and he's going to want to hit his wide receiver on that slant route, and the receiver's wide the hell open. But notice how Merrick's going to stop himself and he's going to jump like as high as he can possibly get to try to disrupt the quarterback's throwing lane, right? And the quarterback has to throw the ball to the right of Merrick because Merrick is jumping straight up. And again, the receiver is wide open and this could possibly be a touchdown, right? If this ball is caught, this could be a touchdown, but it is just outside of the quarterback's catch radius again. This is 100% because of the fact that Merrick jumps up to swap the ball, right? If Merrick just ran right at the quarterback, um, as he was, right? He was running at the quarterback. If he just kept going and just hit the quarterback, this could have been a completed pass for a touchdown, right? This is what this play could have been because of the fact that this corner here slips. But as you guys see, uh, Merrick is a smart football player. He's going to stop himself and jump straight up forcing the quarterback to kind of change his throwing lane. Um, and of course, the ball is just too far to the inside. Again, we'll look at this play from the All-22. You guys can see the receiver down here. And again, there's no one that would have stopped this receiver. Uh, if this pass was on the numbers, they, because this cornerback fell, this is a touchdown, man. This catch, if it's on the numbers, that's a touchdown. There's nobody out here. Um, so Merrick saves a touchdown on this specific play. Uh, great play by him. Just shows his football awareness. And let's jump into uh, some other things that I noticed on film. I want to jump into his ball skills because I think his ball skills is literally second to none in this class. I think he might be the best coverage player in this draft. Uh, here's a play where uh, against Purdue, he actually intercepts the pass. Um, and he's going to basically cover Rondell Moore, who a lot of people think is the number four wide receiver coming out of the draft. And he's going to just strip this ball right out of his hands. He plays it perfectly. He plays it underneath and he kind of jumps it. Coverage skills is very important. It's probably the most underrated aspect of playing safety in my personal opinion. But I want to jump forward and show you guys more plays of his coverage abilities because I think he's very special. 
You know, Merrick understands the game of football. You know, we discussed this a number of times. Here's a specific play. You know, he, he's in this cover four, and he does a good job picking up the correct guy and then knocking this pass incomplete, saving a touchdown. All right? Not on every single play will Merrick make a play. Not on every single play, any safety will make a play. But on this specific play, he made the play. He was tested deep, and he made the perfect play around the ball right you can throw it to him you can even try doing a quick screen around him uh, around the ball he knows how to play right or rather it's boxing a, a, a defender in rather it's uh covering someone deep the ball's in the air he's not called for penalties that often he just understands how to place his body he understands where to be to knock the pass incomplete great freaking job right here on this play uh, basically knocking the pass incomplete man uh, this is a very impressive play and, and it's more impressive from this angle but the part of it where it, it really in my opinion shows the type of skills Merig has is uh, right here right at the top of this route when number eight is about to make his out cut uh, Merig gets on top of it gets his hands on him just enough to slow him down but at no point is he slowing, uh, holding him or, or, or is this any sort of penalty. He gets his hands right into those hips, gives number eight a nice little hit downfield, uh, just a quick little jab, turns his head, and at the same time, he keeps his hands on number eight to feel out where he is. So that way he doesn't run into him. Uh, he can turn, turn his head, find the ball, and boom, knock it incomplete. You know, there is not a player that is a better coverage safety than, uh, than Merrick. Rather, it's in zone. Rather, it's man-to-man. -man. This guy knows how to play. And I want to show you guys uh, a man-to-man -man play that I showed a little bit earlier. But I want to show it to you guys one more time. All right, yeah, here you guys see Merrick uh, once again. He's going to basically do uh, what he did in this last play, which is he's going to fill the defender out, slow him down uh, when, the, when the receiver here is ready to make his in-cut. Uh, and he gets his hands on him just enough that's not a hold right just enough to slow him down just a little bit he isn't yanking him he keeps his hands on him and he turns his head and he finds the ball the coverage skills that merig shows me it's impressive man like there is no safety that even comes close to the coverage skills that this tcu safety has I'm very pumped up to kind of see where he's going to end up uh, in his career. And then I'm really excited to kind of follow him, right? If a team wants to get him to be a, a strong safety in the box, he can do it. Uh, he lined up, I think, 65% of the time as a strong safety in the box. Uh, the other 35% of the time, he was playing that deep post safety. But that's kind of what TCU does, right? Um, a lot of the time, their safeties are man-to-man -man with uh, receivers, as you see in this play um and yeah man he just he shuts shit down man and there's uh, so many other examples um, i'll show you guys a couple where uh, basically he's just on his guy and he doesn't even get tested all right guys here's a play you're gonna see uh, Mer merig right here um basically he's going to cover this slot wide receiver and the slot wide receiver is going to try to give him an out up route and Merrick doesn't fall for anything and of course you guys see that he is not tested um, but, you know, what's impressive is as soon as this receiver makes this out cut, uh, Merrick's not jumping this. He's not doing anything stupid. Um, he's just staying calm and composed, and he's going to just stay on top of this wide receiver. And, of course, the quarterback knows there's just no way that he would complete this pass. And these are the types of plays where you're not going to see this on the highlight reel. Unless you have access to the All-22 film, unless you actually put the time and effort into watching every single play, and we did against this this Baylor tape specifically, you would not see these type of plays. But this is typical, right? 400 times in the last two years, Merrick guarded a, a player, right? Or maybe it was a little bit less than that on man-to-man -man situations. But multiple times, Merrick would defend the, the opposing wide receivers, and he wouldn't even get tested, right? And that's the type of skills that Merrick has. When you put the film on and you watch Merrick on every single one of his plays, you see how great of a coverage player he is, right? Uh, here's a play in which it's a cover three match. And of course, they're going to run this a specific way. And uh, basically what it is, is uh, you have one guy who has the, the deep out. Uh, you have another guy who has the deep out and they're going to match, meaning that if these receivers take the outside inside and it looks like they're going to go deep, basically you play man to man. Um, you have a guy who's going to play the flats. You have two linebackers who are going to play right in the middle. 
uh, safety, I believe, comes up. And then Merrick basically is everything right here in the middle, uh, as well as playing short. And he's going to do a great job uh, with this receiver who's going to come across, and he's going to just pick him up right and it's a great job because the quarterback is looking right at this receiver and Merrick shuts it down there's not a pass breakup nothing even happens on this play because the quarterback ends up throwing it down here uh, but these are also those types of plays right you would never see this on a highlight reel you would never see this anywhere uh, the only people that would ever see this play are, are those gms and scouts and, and those folks that really want to watch the all 22 tape um, and and really want to see Merrick's game and, and kind of what he can do as a player right uh, i want to show you guys a couple final plays and then we'll end the video you know in the game of football uh, there's players who are athletic there's players who um, are not as athletic then there's players who are smart high iq football players they understand the game of football and then there's players who don't right uh, mirig is athletic he's not the most athletic guy but he's athletic enough he's fast enough great hips great change of direction uh, but his football awareness is off the charts and I, I think this is one of the reasons why he's going to be a first round pick uh, don't be surprised if Merrick ends up in the top 15 uh, at the latest he could go 17 to the Las Vegas Raiders uh, but here's an example of, of football awareness right uh, in this specific play he's going to basically just track the ball track the receiver as soon as the receiver uh turns around he's running full speed at him and the receiver ends up dropping the ball right uh, but what, what's important to me is the fact that uh, th think about where merrick is relative to this wide receiver right merrick's about two yards behind him um, and then notice at the same time how much quicker merrick is to um basically understanding that the ball's about to be thrown and reacting right that in-game reaction time uh, compared to that other defender Merrick's already going at this guy and that other defender is not even aware of his situation um, and to me that's very important right small things like this right because in the nfl everything's so much faster right if Merrick's able to respond uh, half a second before the other safety He's going to be a half a second better at, at getting to the spot, especially when the NFL is one second faster, right? The NFL is so much faster than college football, and Merrick can time this uh, perfectly. And the receiver, of course, knows uh, Merrick's coming, and he's going to basically try to stretch out, and he drops this pass. Um, either way, Merrick would have stopped this from this third down converting to a first down. Um, great job, great reaction time. Uh, but not everything is great when it comes to Merrick. And I'll give you guys one uh, example of something that I've noticed. And I'll give you guys two plays. Let me just jump right into it. You know, when I watch Merrick, he's great at so many things. But sometimes he tries to do a little bit too much. Uh, sometimes he kind of loses sight of his, his responsibility. Uh, here's an example of that. He's going to get beat badly on this play uh, as you're going to see the receiver basically take a step to the inside and Merrick's going to fall for that hard and uh, this is a touchdown right if this is an nfl quarterback this is an nfl wide receiver um, this is a touchdown right and Merrick has to fix this in his game where he's not falling for these types of things i would rather have Merrick not get that extra interception if it saves that touchdown right um, and then you see him trying to grab on for his dear life right there because he knows he's beat um, but you can't have that right and this isn't the only example i'm going to show you guys two more examples all right you guys on this specific play you're going to see that merrick i'm not sure what the hell he does here you know he, he's kind of late and i i, th I think he kind of gets caught uh, looking in the backfield a little bit uh, maybe he's caught looking at the quarterback who's rolling out this way uh, it kind of looks like he's thinking about stepping up but what he doesn't do is He's not playing this back, man. Play this back because you have a guy who's going to run free. Now, of course, you know, uh, college, NFL, much different. Um, but you see the guy, like, he's wide open. And here's Merrick, and he kind of sees that late. And you'll see him starting to run towards that, to that guy, right? Uh, but that's a touchdown in the NFL. And, uh, again, you know, it's him trying to do too much, right? He sees what the quarterback is doing, rolling out. Uh, and he feels like he needs to make the play, which is understandable. That's what the great players always try to do. Um, and it'll just take one time in the NFL for this to hit for a touchdown. It'll take one time for this receiver to basically go right over the top for Merrick to understand that, hey, you know, maybe I should have uh, paused a little bit, uh, taken a step back and, and maybe not care too much about the receiver um, or about the quarterback. Because if you watch Merrick, 
he's backpedaling at the start of this, right? He's already going backwards. He is going this way. And then you're going to see that basically at some point he's going to take two steps up. He freezes and that could have been a touchdown. And I want to show you guys one final play as well. All right, the final play you're gonna see um, basically the receiver. I think it's this guy. He's gonna just run free and it's a touchdown. If the quarterback saw it, um, it might not have been that guy, but you guys will see it. it'll be as clear as day. Uh, if you guys watch Merrick, I don't know why he's running this way. And I don't know if one of these guys messed up that one of them should have been deep. Um, but basically you're gonna see a receiver running deep. That's, that's a touchdown, all right? And if you guys missed it, uh, here it is um here's the guy wide open this is a touchdown so i'm not sure who's responsible for this guy but because merrick is playing safety uh, he doesn't really have a responsibility or it doesn't look like he has a responsibility but at the same time it looks like he's kind of looking at this guy uh, but at the same time someone should have covered this guy and the quarterback dismisses it all right i mean this is what happens when you have college uh co college quarterbacks right uh, you miss guys wide open for touchdowns um at the same time it looks like this guy might be pointing um or uh, maybe he's not and you see a uh, Merrick pointing right here so um, I'm not a hundred percent sure whose job that was but either way that would need to be communicated before the play clearly some sort of miscommunication and uh, I wouldn't necessarily blame Merrick for this play but the other few that I showed you guys you know I could say it was his fault um, either way I think Merrick's gonna be a great player man uh, if you guys want a, a player who's going to be a stud at the next level, a player who's going to be an all pro thumper, right? And he's not the hardest hitter, right? But he can come up there and he'll put his shoulder pad down. Um, he does catch tackles as opposed to delivering tackles, but that's okay, right? He, he's not, he's going to be a coverage safety, right? That's going to be his game. Um, I, I think he's going to be a great player. First round talent for sure. Uh, it'll just depend on what teams kind of value him him compared to like Richie Grant, Holland, um, Johnson, and some of these other safeties that are coming out. Um, but overall, he's really impressed me. He's really shown that he could be a great player. Um, and I'm pumped up to kind of see where he ends up going. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I know it was kind of a long one. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does help me uh, in allowing other people to also see this video and then YouTube will then recommend it to other people. At the same time, subscribe, man, if you guys are not subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot more content, you know, once the, the uh, football season ends here or, or once the draft season ends, basically we will have more content right regarding players that are coming back to college football players who will be draft eligible for next year uh, and then we'll even get into some nfl film you know we'll watch these some of these rookies and we'll kind of see where they're at in their development um so i will have a lot of content man i really appreciate you guys watching i hope you guys all have a great day and i'll see you guys next time with another video